This is real estate coach Craig Proctor. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to set yourself apart from other real estate agents to get the listing. Uh, obviously, one of the challenges we have in real estate is there's a tremendous amount of competition. And one of the ways that I was really successful um, as a realtor is, is definitely setting myself apart from the competition. Now, we're going to talk about different ways to communicate this. Um, a lot of people think, well, when it comes to marketing and advertising or, or your message, it's just like an ad. Well, it doesn't have to be an ad. It can start just with the words that come out of your mouth, right? It can start with the way that you uh, answer the phone, what you're saying to buyers and sellers in the presentation and so on. So um, today I'm going to give you some, uh, some good ideas, some, uh, some things that you can use in your marketing right away uh, that are going to be shocking to buyers and sellers and uh, compel the buyer and seller to see you as different and better. You know, sometimes you don't even have to be really better than the other realtors. You just have to be different. So that's kind of a right or downer. It's easier to be, it's easier to be different than be better. If you really look at my story, I was the number one REMAX agent in the world within 36 months of getting my real estate license. Like, how was that possible, right? Was I the best realtor in the country uh, within 36 months of having my license? Of course not. That's ridiculous, right? But through my marketing, I convinced my, my area, my city, that I was the obvious choice, even though... Uh, there were thousands of realtors that had more experience and they had a better track record than me. Uh, through what I'm going to share with you here today, I was able to create this perception that I was the number. I, I would be their number one choice. So, the first way I want to talk about as to how you can set yourself apart is by the offers that you make and uh, the unique services that you offer buyers and sellers. Now, understand that our topic today is, well, how do we get the listings by setting ourselves apart? We have to understand that every seller, before they list their home for sale, is a buyer first, right? Every seller is a buyer first. In other words, in this type of crazy market uh, where houses are selling almost instantaneously, very few sellers would agree to list their house for sale unless you can find them another property first. Right, So the seller is not going to list their home until we can find them another property to go to first. So the ultimate offer right now to make to, to, make to sellers to, is to help them find a house. And the way to help them find a home that would be unique and different than any offer the other agents are making is to advertise your ability to get off-market and unlisted properties. So your offer... Uh, to buyers, which these buyers are going to have houses to sell, is that you have access to unlisted and off-market properties. You know, simply tell me what you're looking for. Let me know the neighborhood and price range that you're looking in. And I'm going to use my specific target marketing. I'm going to go to that neighborhood at no cost. And I am going to find you a home that's not yet on the market. So this is not like a pocket listing. You're not hiding anything from MLS. You don't have any listings. The service that you're offering uh, is that you're going to find them a property and you're not going to do it like the traditional way of just emailing them what's on MLS. See, the problem with the typical offer that's being made is this is something that the buyers and sellers can do themselves, right? Like if your big offer to sellers in your marketing right now is, um, hey, sellers, uh, your house is going to sell uh, for a really great price, or it's going to sell quickly. Everybody knows that, right? So, and that's not the problem. The seller already knows they can get a, a great price for their home. They know it'll sell quickly, but what good is that if they have nowhere to go? So I'm going to repeat this again. The sellers will not list their home for sale until you can find them another property. So what is your offer going to be? How are you going to stand out? How are you really going to help the seller? Certainly by not saying the same thing as all the other agents, which is, hey, sellers, I can sell your home for top dollar. I can sell it quickly. Or saying to um, buyers, I'm going to email you the homes that you can get on your own, right? That's the big offer that we've been taught to make to buyers, right? Is I'll email you uh, all the homes on MLS, right? Um, they can do that themselves. 
right? And if your offer is, I'm going to email you properties, the clients see very little value in that. Number one, every other agent is offering the same thing. Number two, it's something that the clients can do by themselves sitting at home in their couch. If you start offering them what they can't get from other agents and what they can't find on their own, you will get their attention. So I want you to start thinking about unique services that you can offer buyers and sellers that they that are not offered anywhere else. Okay, the buyer and seller can't find that information on their own, okay, and they can't get this information from other real estate agents. That's how I became successful, okay? We have to understand that the offer we make uh, is of utmost importance. And honestly, most realtors, they have very weak offers. They're not offering anything unique. Uh, What they say in their advertising, the words that come out of their mouth, it sounds exactly like everybody else and uh, their offers basically fall on deaf ears. So I want you to think about what unique services do you offer for buyers and sellers? Here's a great one for sellers. Not only am I gonna offer to get them access to off-market and unlisted properties, and I know a lot of you are like, well, how would I do that? How would I find them? We teach you how to go directly to the neighborhood uh, that your clients are interested in and uh, advertise your buyer uh, to that neighborhood and and find people that want to sell their home before they list it on MLS. Okay, so you're not listing the property, you're not holding anything back from MLS or anything like that, uh, but you're finding somebody that wants to sell in that community that your buyer is interested in, and if it's a match, uh, your buyer is going to buy that property, and guess what you're going to get? You're going to get their listing but they're not going to list their home until you can find them a property. So you got to roll up your sleeves and you got to do, uh, you got to be a bit innovative to make this happen. Once you start doing this, like my other, my other um, clients, I'm, the other realtors that I coach, you will have tremendous results. Think about that. Do the math. You're finding them a home, you're double ending that property, and then you're getting that listing. We teach you how to do this. We teach you how to find unlisted and off-market properties so you truly are offering something that uh, buyers and sellers really want. Remember, every seller is a buyer before they list their home for sale. In fact, the easiest way to get a listing is to get the person that owns the house, the seller, to respond first as a buyer versus trying to get them, uh, you know, like I'll do a CMA on your house. If you look at the offers that we that most agents are making, they simply fall on deaf ears. I'll do a CMA. What's that? They don't even know what that means. Um, I will tell you what, they know what their house is worth. They can get that information on their own. If that's your big offer to sellers is, oh, your house will sell fast, and I can tell you what the other houses are selling for, they don't need you for that, right? Plus, that's the same offer all the other realtors are making them. What about this? One of the parts of my listing presentation that is really super effective is if like if I was coming over to list your house, I would prepare for that appointment and I would have done a search in my database for all the buyers that I currently have in my database that are looking for a home like your house. So when I get to your house, um, I would um, pull out a list of all of my buyers. It would be a printout uh, from my CRM of all the buyers that I have that are looking uh, for a a home like yours. And so I would present this to you as the seller and I'd say, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, in preparation for our meeting uh, this evening, uh, I I did a search and I found that I have 117 buyers that are looking for a home like yours in your price range in your neighborhood. Now, should you decide to list your home with me, the first thing that I would do is I would email detailed information and pictures of your house out to the 117 buyers that I'm currently working with. And sometimes, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I get a hit right away. I get a match right away. Sometimes we get multiple buyers that are interested in your house right away. Now, you mentioned that you had interviewed a couple of other realtors. Did the two other realtors you speak with, did they talk to you about how many buyers they currently were working with? How many buyers they had for your home? And then I zip it up. And they say, no, Mr. Proctor, uh, the other agents didn't talk to us about how many buyers they had. 
all they wanted to talk about is if we were to list with them um, what they would begin to do, what they would start to do to try to find a buyer for our home. So the seed has been planted, right? Um, Craig Proctor has all the buyers, right? Or the other agents probably would have talked about their buyers. So did the other agents you meet with, did they talk to you about how many buyers they currently had for your home? No. All they wanted to talk about was what they would begin to do, what they would start to do to try to find a buyer for a home. Does everyone see the difference? Now, I'm not telling the seller that conclusion. It's way more powerful if the prospect comes to the conclusion on their own. Okay, I'm just presenting the facts. And um, I would have a printout here. I'd have a printout of 117 buyers. And the buyer's names, they're all signed to buyer agency agreements. Now, you might not have 117 buyers, but what if you had five buyers? What if you had eight buyers? That's better than what the other realtors are doing. They're not talking about the buyers they currently have. They're talking about, oh, what, what I would do to try to find a buyer. Okay, so you can have all of these unique services for buyers and sellers that other real estate agents don't have. Um, for those of you that are back to doing uh, open houses, you know, typically what we're taught to do is, is sit there for four hours on a Saturday and Sunday. It's a very passive approach and we wait for a buyer to come and knock on the door. I mean, yeah, pretty passive, right? The buyer's going to come in and go, oh my God, this is a house of my dreams. They're going to buy it. Doesn't usually happen that way. What we teach you to do is organize a tour of houses, okay? A tour of five or six listings. They don't have to be your listings. You could borrow listings from other agents in your brokerage or just other agents in general. Organize it. When we open five or six homes, we open each house for only 15 minutes. So on purpose, we're driving all the buyers to each house at exactly the same time. So if we've got six houses open, we generally get six times as many buyers coming out, but forcing all the buyers to each house at exactly the same time, this is what your clients are paying you to, for. They want you to market their property. The biggest mistake I made when I got into real estate, honestly, was looking around at what all the other realtors were doing and copying it. Okay, the biggest successes I've had in real estate is doing the opposite of industry norms. Okay, think about what the buyers and sellers want. Don't worry about what the other agents are doing and you will be successful. So um, step number one is what are your unique services? What are your unique offers? The offers that you're making to buyers and sellers that blow your competition away. Okay, they set you apart. What you're offering is different, it's better, and buyers and sellers will come to you. They will choose to do business with you versus all other options. Now, um, give me a thumbs up. Okay, smash the blue thumbs up, a little heart button, if you agree that this makes sense. Okay, if this agree, if this is making sense to you, let me know. Uh, smash the thumbs up button. Okay, uh, like this page, and let me know what your thoughts in the comments are. And by the way, I got a couple more here for you. Let me know what marketplace you're in. Okay, I get a lot of referrals. I'm working with over 30,000 agents, 30,000 all over Canada, the United States. As you know, I've been coaching realtors for almost 30 years and we get a lot of referrals going back and forth. So I have, uh, even on these Facebook Lives, uh, this is where we go to when we're looking for agents to help our, our network, buyers and sellers, uh, find a home. So don't be shy. The biggest battle that you guys are fighting is obscurity. Don't be shy. Let us know what marketplace you serve. Let me see if I can get some referrals for you. And I want to thank you for being here because you are hanging out with agents that are winning. Um, Craig Proctor members, on average, make about eight times the industry norm. Now, you might say the industry norm is pretty pathetic. It is, okay? Uh, but it's so easy to set yourself apart from the other realtors by just doing just a few of the things that we're suggesting today. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about are, what are your statistics? Are your statistics better than the real estate board average, right? Or maybe your broker stats. What I mean by that is, what are your days on the market? What's your list to sales ratio? What percentage of um, your listings uh, that sell, sell for way over the asking price? You can use your superior statistics 
versus the MLS average. That's another thing that you can use when you're in your marketing and when you're speaking to sellers to absolutely set yourself apart from other agents. Um, so we can make guarantees based on this as well. That's the next thing I want to talk about. Um, nobody wants to be accountable in this business, right? Everyone's running around saying to the seller, oh, I'm going to sell your home for the most amount of money. I'm going to sell it fast, which in this market, yeah, uh, everything sells fast. But yours could sell for even more money uh, if you do the right stuff. Now, you want to share with the seller all of the performance guarantees that you make. So, for example, um, one guarantee that you, you could make, which would be easy, is, hey, if you list with me, I'm going to call you once a week and let you know what's going on. Okay. Um, now, other realtors say it, but you guarantee it and say, if there's any week that I don't get back to you with the number of showings and what we're doing to market and advertise your home, um, I'll deduct $500 off my commission. So that's what makes it different is you're guaranteeing it. There's going to be a consequence. I'm going to call you every week. You're going to be happy with my feet, with um, with my service. If I don't call you at least every week, if I don't call you back within 24 hours of you contacting me, I will deduct X amount of dollars off my commission. How about this? I get, when I give you a list price, I guarantee that I'm going to sell your home at that price or above, or I'll deduct, say, $1,000 off my commission. This is how you beat the other realtors out. You make guarantees. They don't want to guarantee. It's just words, right? Just words. Oh, we provide great service, right? We're going to sell your house. You're going to be really happy with this. I work hard. No, nobody's going to do the opposite, right? There's no, no realtor in your marketplace that says they're kind of lazy, okay? There's no realtor in your marketplace that says, you know, I'm not, I'm not honest. It, the opposite is true, though. They all say they work hard. They all say they have experience. They all say that we're going to get you the best results. You've got to be aggressive with your messaging, both your advertising and the words that come out of your mouth, if you want to dominate your marketplace. How many of you here want to dominate your marketplace? Okay, let me know in the comments. Are you just like nibbling around the edges here? Like, well, you know, this is kind of like a part-time deal or I'm okay if I do a little bit better. Or are you the type of realtor that wants to go all in and totally dominate your marketplace? You know, in my heyday, I had a 15% market share. Okay, one five. That means one in every eight houses in my area, one in every eight had my sold sign on. Folks, that's called market domination. That's called taking over the market, no prisoners. We are dominating this marketplace. I can teach you how to do this. I have created more millionaire real estate agents than any other coach, trainer, or guru. And I'll tell you why that's easy. Because most of these other gurus, most of these other coaches, they didn't get rich selling real estate. Did you see the difference? They got rich selling, doing their seminars and doing their coaching. But there's a difference between actually doing it, okay? In the trenches for the last 25 years, actually making millions of dollars as a real estate agent. I sold five to 600 homes a year for 15 years straight. Number one REMAX agent in the world. Um, and I've created all of these other millionaires. You want to know how I do it? I show them what I did. A big part of what we work on is the mindset. Okay, we work on how you think about this business. If I can get you to think a different way, I promise you, you would never do what you're doing now. Okay, when I start working with realtors and I show them what's possible, I get their head on right, um, doing what they do currently would be an unacceptable idea. How many of you would like to make more money in a month than what you make in a year? How would you like to turn your annual income into a monthly income? you want to hang here with, with Craig Proctor. Now, a couple of announcements I want to make. Um, how many of you are coming to my super conference? My three-day super conference is coming up in a couple weeks. It's in Anaheim, California. There'll be like a thousand realtors there. It's April 26th to the 28th. Three days with me and 1,000 top Craig Proctor members. We have an early bird special. Normally, it's $1,000. We've cut it in half. Uh, to four ninety five, and we have discounted hotel rooms. If someone could drop into the comments, Craig Proctor Seminar, so my name, Craig Proctor Seminar dot com. 
So Craig Proctor all together, craigproctorseminar.com. That's a clickable link. If you go there, you can get all the information on the super conference. Now, we have a virtual option as well. Honestly, it's way better if you come in person. But, you know, I get it. If you can't come in person, you can uh, you can sign up for the virtual option. You can watch it all online. It'll be streamed. But it's Craig Proctor Seminar, all together, no spaces, craigproctorseminar.com, if someone could type that in. You will meet uh, some of the top real estate agents in the entire world. I've got members that are making over a million dollars a month, a month, not a year, in GCI. Um, you're going to have um, listen to the superstars on these panels talking about marketing. We're going to talk about all the latest and greatest methods using Facebook, using Instagram, using YouTube, using LinkedIn. We're going to talk about how to follow up with the leads. We're going to talk about um, um, uh, drip campaigns. We're going to talk about how to build a business. See, once you have the buyers and sellers coming to you, it's scalable, right? That's what we want to teach you to do is how to have aggressive messaging so buyers and sellers see you as different and better and they're coming you. Let me know if that makes sense to you. You're not buying leads with the Craig Proctor system. You never have to buy leads from Zillow or Realtor. You'll never make a cold call again, okay? You won't have to knock on doors. You'll never have to chase for sale by owners or expired listing. I want to introduce you to smart, modern marketing, and you're going to be hearing directly from myself and other realtors that make millions of dollars doing this. Now, I have prepared... Uh, some information on how to set yourself apart. How many of you would like to do, this is free, okay? I prepared this free guide and I want you to have it here today. How to set yourself apart from other real estate agents. Okay, there's about six pages here uh, that's going to demonstrate exactly what we talked about today. To get this information, type into the comments below, free report. Okay, if you type into the comments below, free report will get this out to you so you can get started. Why am I giving it away? Because I want you to do this. I want you to start making money with this. Okay, that's why you're here today because you want to hear from somebody that can help you set yourself apart from everyone else. I want you to start making money right now. Also, for those of you who would like to book a call with my team and I, absolutely free of charge. If someone could type in proctorcall.com into the comments below, proctorcall.com, you can book a one hour free business consultation. We call it a breakthrough call. What we'll do is ask you a bunch of questions and talk to you about what is your goal? Where do you want to take your business? And we will give you free of charge, our advice, our best ideas on how you can go from where you are right now to where it is you want to go. So you can do that right now by going to Proctor. If someone can type in proctorcall.com, that's a clickable link. Okay, you go there, pick a day and time that works for you. We will spend an hour. So at the end of the hour, you're either going to be blown away, like, oh my God, this thing, this guy can really help me. Or if not, you just continue to do what you're doing. Uh, but when you see what we have for you, and how you can set yourself apart, how you can get buyers and sellers in your marketplace coming to you, how you can easily differentiate yourself from all the other agents, which means like your, the presentation we teach you is so strong, two things happen. Number one, the seller wants to do business with you and only with you. And number two, you get to dictate your fee, right? You get to dictate your fee. If they see you as a commodity, you got to cut your fee. If right now at the end of your listing presentation, if you're faced with all kinds of resistance, if um, you have to be an arm twister, it simply tells us your listing presentation, it's not strong enough. At the conference, I'm going to give you my listing presentation. I'm going to give you my buyer presentation. These will both be on PowerPoint. If you go to craigproctorseminar.com, you're going to see I'm going to give you $5,800 worth of bonus items. I'm going to give you the ads. I'm going to give you the direct mail pieces. I'm going to give you the scripts. I'm going to give you everything you need at the conference. But most importantly, I'm going to coach you up during that three days on how to use it all and dominate your marketplace.
So I hope you enjoyed our session here today. Again, um, book a call with us, attend the seminar, okay, or at least download the free report. Okay, let me know your comments. Let me know what you thought of uh, today's session. Remember to like this page and turn on notifications so whenever I go live, you're going to get that information. And if you know of another realtor that would benefit from this information, go ahead and share it. Maybe share it with your broker because your broker wants to help the realtors in your office, right? So thank you very much for being here, everyone. This is real estate coach Craig Proctor, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great day. Thank you. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things, and both are totally free. Number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're gonna see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy, it's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's gonna let you know every time I load new money-making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now, you ring the little bell, and we'll see you on the next video.